What the fuck is what is this? What is this? Oh yeah, oh boy this shit bang it. Sorry if it's like echoey in here, it probably is. I'm in my guest room, office room that is incomplete, so it's echoey. But anyways, we just went um, on a walk. I had actually filmed an intro before we went on the walk and for whatever reason, my camera just decided to shut off and I'm really hoping it doesn't do it again. That would be a tragedy. Um, but yeah, so I just got some clips on my phone of our nice walk. It was a really good time. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this week's video is going to be something a little bit different. Um, it's my last week as a stay-at-home girl, stay-at-home girlfriend, because that is what I've been for the last year with good reason though um, and not necessarily by choice but I am going back to work in a week from today so I'm really excited and really anxious I have a lot of feelings about it and I'm still thinking about if I'm gonna make a video on that part or topic and whatnot but I'm excited to say the least and I'm going back to work so with that, I know that I'm going to have a lot less time to like do the things that I want to do because I will be at work full time. Um, and so my time is going to be on the weekends for a while. So I just thought I would spend this week doing things that I want to do that I would normally like to do. Um, so I'm going to take you guys along for that for the first half of the week. And then on the second half of the week, is my birthday which will be a second vlog my birthday is on thursday july 1st i'm turning 23 so go me i'm really excited my birthday is my favorite day of the year and i'm ready to have some fun before i go back to work so like i said it's gonna be two different vlogs but the first half of the week is just us gonna be enjoying ourselves for the last bit of our dramatic last days as a stay-at-home girlfriend which i really enjoyed and will try to live my life like this again at some point um but for now we're going back to work so that's cute so yeah i'm just gonna bring you guys along for the week and just show you what we have to do we're gonna do some fun stuff and we're also gonna prep for my birthday so yeah stay tuned and i will catch up with you guys later <laughs> Like move him out of the street, probably. I, don't touch him, though. I can touch him. Alright, we'll put him in the grass. Okay, hold this. Right. Okay. Yeah, I think we should just get his size. Are you ah, baby? It's because I own turtles, but the more he comes out, the more I get worried. Yeah, good. Yeah, just pick him up. There you go. Oh, he peed. I'm scared. Yeah, but now he's good though. Here I just go. didn't want him in the street. Okay. He's good though. I put him. Yeah. Yeah. And they take him down to the river. Oh, okay. Yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> I'm gonna look better than this in the video I just I don't know I like 
like, sitting down and getting to talk to you guys a little bit like the vlog is cool and like showing you guys what I'm doing and what is going on that's all really cool but I think I really just enjoy sitting down and talking to you a little bit so it's a little bit later than earlier I've got a green juice well it's actually more of a smoothie and it's very very good um but really I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the whole like a new job thing and like being a stay-at-home girl I probably will talk a little bit more like in depth about it later on in like a different video but I'm just like I don't know it's crazy because this is all happening so fast but I am of course gonna bring you guys along for the journey and the ride because I don't know it's just like you know like whenever things start to change and you feel just like uncomfortable because you know things around you are changing and you're like forcing yourself out of whatever situation you're in at the moment and like growing into a new one I don't know if anyone else can relate to that or ever feels that way but like I definitely feel that way I can always feel when there's like a shift of things going on around me and that's exactly what is going on here I have been at home and not working for a whole year and I can't believe I'm like telling everyone this my business ooh, the tea um, but I've spent the last year not working but not doing nothing either okay I have been I don't know like even though I haven't been working I feel like I took a really much needed like it feels like self-care it feels like I spent time like working on myself like the time that I had to myself was used wisely I guess is what I'm saying like I didn't waste a whole year it wasn't like a stagnant year of doing nothing if anything I've probably had the most like outward outward yeah outward growth that I've had in a long time if I'm being honest like it's just so crazy so crazy when I like think about it I'm just like wow but if it weren't for me getting laid off a year ago because of COVID-19 like I wouldn't have this channel I wouldn't even be doing this probably like I tell you guys all the time how my <laughs> camera just shuts off and it's because I've had this camera for a long time I've had this camera for like five and a half years and it was originally supposed to be for me to vlog and I didn't start vlogging until last October that was maybe like 10 months ago or something like that like you know and so it's just like this time has really allowed me to do the things that I want and focus on the things that I want for myself I've done so much better in school I've excelled through school a lot better I'm getting ready to graduate and just be done um, I got a new job which is unreal I will tell you guys more about this later but I submitted one application I did one interview and 30 minutes after the interview I had the job which is like I can't even like my brain cannot even fathom that that has never happened to me before the chances of that even happening are like what are the chances you know what I'm saying like what are the fucking chances that something like that happens I don't know but I am blessed and highly favored apparently so I'm gonna take that and run with that I feel good about where I'm at and where I'm going and I'm excited it's gonna be a lot of change because I've been at home and like if you guys have seen a lot of my videos I spend time at home and like doing stuff I don't know just like for myself I go to the store I go thrifting I work out I hang out with my friends like leisurely time things it's I mean and it's all really good for me but it's like gonna be crazy having to go back into that like working cycle but I'm excited to contribute into society you know what I'm saying and just like actually go back to work 
So I don't know. I'm excited. I have a lot to look forward to. And I have to go shopping because I threw out all of my other old work clothes. I donated them, but like I got rid of them, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> my scar itches. Um, but yeah, I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm really just rambling, but I just had to share with you guys how I feel. I feel overwhelmed, but grateful and excited. And I can't wait to like bring you guys along for the journey. Although I am nervous about how I'm going to balance everything or like what days I'm going to be able to get content, but I am not going to stop working. Okay. I'm going to keep doing this. I'm going to keep putting out the videos. This is life changing. Okay, guys, we are from on the up from here. We up. He broke. I'm up from here on out. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to start rambling because my camera will probably overheat soon. Um, and I will see you guys a little bit later. I think I'm going to go get some hair dye. So I'll see you when it's time to get the hair dye. Okay, bye. I have no idea what I'm doing here. Um, I'm about to go run my errands. Errands as in buy some hair dye. Yeah, buy some hair dye. And maybe get a couple groceries, you know. I don't know why, but that like makes me relaxed. Grocery shopping relaxes me, whatever. Anyways, um, cause I'm not wearing sweatpants or a jacket today. It's not all that different than like what I normally would wear, but I mean, it's not sweatpants. These are some flowy pants that I actually thrifted. Sorry, I still have my house shoes on. But these are some flowy pants that I thrifted and I was gonna do like a cute little, you know, like a knot here, but these are a little wasted and I'm a little bloated for my period. So don't judge me, okay? Like, I know that it's not that different from what I normally wear, but I mean, come on, I feel like I live in Austin. I feel like this is what we dress like in Austin. Not me trying to blame my lack of dressing style on my geographical location. No, I just really think, I don't know. I'm comfortable like this and I've not been able to give a fuck for like a whole year. But now that I'm getting back into it and I'm gonna go back to work, I gotta start like, you know, dressing like regular people, not like I'm staying at home all day. So yeah, sorry for this angle and rambling. I will see you guys at the store. It's so funny, if you ever see like a thumbnail of me in the car and I'm like, it's because my flip up screen has, um, like if you touch it, it'll just take a picture. Like it does a countdown and then I don't know okay anyways of course I would make plans on the day when it's going to pour down rain also I'm pissed because like I said my birthday is on Thursday and it's going to pour down rain that is unacceptable that's actually I don't think that has ever happened to me I don't think it's ever rained on the day of my birthday and I am hurt these fucking trucks go by all day um I'm hurt, I'm pissed, whatever. Also, look at how awful my hair, my head looks. I'm serving very much, um, what is that movie, Coneheads? I feel very like Conehead, I would fit right in. Um, yeah, okay, let's go do our shit, talk to you later. <laughs> such a scam like it's my happy place but
But at the same time, it's like I had only intended to spend like $30 max at the store. Next thing you know, $92 gone. Just gone. And it's like, I'm not even buying the most expensive shit in here. Like, if anything, probably doing the opposite. And yet, still getting fucked. Anyways, I'm going to enjoy some iced coffee now that I'm back home and my errands are ran. And then I'm gonna make enchiladas later. Mm. That's good. That's really fucking good. I don't know why I never thought of this, but these are meant to be done together, okay? Every single time, no matter what the flavor or the roast of the coffee is, it's phenomenal. Every time. Oh, you guys have no idea. But anyway. Yeah, I'm going to make enchiladas later. And honestly, this is probably the last you'll see of me today. I might dye my hair today. I might dye my hair tomorrow. But I'll let you guys know. Okay, see you when I see you. Hello vlog. Happy Tuesday. I don't even know what day it is. Um, it's Tuesday. It's later in the day. And I... Sorry, I'm trying to decide what shoes I'm going to wear. I'm going shopping for work today getting work clothes as stay-at-home wives stay-at-home girlfriends that's what they do they shop right except i'm shopping to go back to work so let's get our shop on i'm trying to decide like this is the problem that i always have why does my face look so blurred no ma'am i don't need a blurring filter um, what I'm trying to decide, basically, what's the angle here? What I'm trying to decide is, do I want to wear sandals or sneakers? It really doesn't matter. And who the fuck, why did I say sneakers? I don't even use that word. So that's awkward. <clears throat> okay. I don't know why I insist on filming from down here where you can see all of my chins. Anyways, let me set you down. I guess I can show you today's fit. It's, <laughs> I always wear the same type of shit. Rekka shorts and this cropped cut off dickies. And I'm gonna pair it with these $6 sunglasses. So we lit. Okay, let's go shopping. <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm actually really happy. I didn't actually get any footage of me thrifting at the last place, but only because the last place gives me a lot of anxiety. So I'm gonna try to get some footage in here, but I found a lot of really good things and I got like 11 things for under $50. So I'm really excited about that. I'm about to go into Buffalo Exchange and see if I can find something to wear for my birthday. I'm really hopeful, but we'll see. I need to get in there before it rains, so I will see you guys afterwards. I just bought a new way. Spend a couple thousand just to cruise it. Shawty said she love me, but I swear she never prove it. I never tell her, but I put it in the music. What I Okay guys, so I am back from thrifting and I will give you guys a little bit of a haul later. I don't know if I'm going to do a try on and just probably just show you everything because I got quite a few things and I'm really excited. Um, now I'm about to do something 
fun, scary, I don't know what you would call it, but I'm going to be <laughs> dyeing my hair for the first time at home by myself. So like, I normally do a box dye anyways when I'm going dark, which I, my hair is already dark, but it's not black anymore. It's more of like a brown and in the light it looks red brown, which is not the vibe I'm going for. So I'm going to be box dyeing it and normally I would just have my mom do it for me, but it's kind of last minute and I don't feel like asking her to do something for me last minute and I think she's actually out of town so I need this done by tomorrow and I'm gonna be doing it myself so I really hope I don't fuck it up but yeah so I'm gonna be doing it and I'm just gonna show you guys these are pretty nice on the hair normally I would go to quarter to ten to get a different kind that's like made more for my hair but I did not have time to go all the way over there today and it's literally pouring rain outside so I'm just like I'll just HEV is gonna have to do and I've used these before so I know that it's gonna be fine um but yeah I'm actually very underprepared I don't have any like painting brushes which I don't know how I allowed that to happen and all of my clips have disappeared I had like a ton of them now I have one of these and a bunch of these so we're fucked um but it's gonna be fine I'm gonna make it work and hopefully it's gonna look good I have dinner tonight so let's just hope that I don't get it like all over my face and then I can't go that would be a tragedy <laughs> but okay Let's get started, because I need to hurry up. Okay, so I'm going to start by, well, okay, my hair's already kind of, oh, cute, halfway started. And I'm going to part it where my hair, like, meets my ear. And also my hair, ow, already, like, kind of because okay, that does not seem like enough hair because I had braids in earlier also I'm definitely not going to record myself doing this whole thing just because I don't want to get my camera dirty and I'm not even sure that it's going to go well so and my camera will definitely shut off before I finish and if it shuts off without me stopping the recording it'll delete everything so we do not want that what the fuck <laughs> okay you know what I will see you guys in a few hello vlog and welcome back today is Wednesday and you can't really see I'll have to show you guys my hair down later but this is the hair look for today. I'm taking Tondra to work. We're going to have lunch. And then I'm going to go get my nails done and go shopping. So I thought that I'd start the video here. And yeah, just bring you guys along. My camera is going to die and I did not charge it. So the rest of the today might get caught on phone footage. We'll see. Um, but yeah, welcome. Let's hit it. Okay, I just had a lunch and it was so nasty. <laughs> we, and this is like what's fucked up. Not to like put anyone out there, but we had Fly Right. And I feel bad because I'm the person who recommended Fly Right. I like, fuck. Here we go again. I personally really enjoy Fly Right. But whatever they had going on today was not it. We sat in the line for like 25 minutes and then the food sucked. So I'm not really happy about that. I'm just glad I didn't pay for it. Sorry, Tondre. But now that I've had that lunch, um, I, hold on. Okay. Now that I've had lunch, I'm headed to the domain because I had a very, very unsuccessful shopping trip yesterday for 
birthday clothes. I found tons of work clothes, so that was cool, but I really want to get a birthday situation. I don't know if I've told you guys, but I am having a party on Friday, and not just any party. I am having a brown liquor party. That means everyone who's invited has to bring some sort of brown liquor and has to be wearing brown. I don't know why the theme is brown this year. It just is. That feels right. That feels sexy. But I'm not going to lie. If I don't find anything sexy brown to wear, everybody else is going to be wearing brown and I'm going to be wearing something else. But that's not really like a problem, you know? It kind of makes me stand out. So I'm just not really sure what we're going to find today. Hopefully it's a good outfit. If not, tough. Because tomorrow's my birthday and I'm so excited. I'm so excited. The birth, the day of birth of a queen. Cancer queen herself, Taylor Niblett. Yeah. But basically that's the vibe for today. That's what we're getting into. I really hope that I find something and I'm gonna bring you guys along for the domain. So let's do some more shopping as a stay-at-home girlfriend would do, should do, and I'm gonna do. Okay, I'll catch you on the flip so I don't crash and I wanna listen to music. Okay, toodaloo. Always look a damn mess. I don't know how, but I always get lost at the fucking domain. Always, always. And I come here a million times. I've been here like a million times. And I fucking always get lost. So let's go do some shopping. Definitely surviving and not thriving at this point. And it's hot as outside. I just drove to like three different nail salons and I'm finally at one that is open and exists so I'm gonna try to get in here and get my nails done I've never been here before so wish me luck the shopping went pretty well we'll see I have nothing to wear on my actual birthday like tomorrow but we'll see okay <laughs> Okay friends, before my camera dies, I have finally made it home. It's literally 6 o'clock on the dot right now. I've been out of my house since like 11.30 this morning. So your girl is tired. Um, I ended up getting my nails done. I finally found a place. This is the vibe that I went with. Just like a cute coffin. It was supposed to be wider than this, but like... It's fine. The guy did like this powder stuff. I don't know. And he was like nice, but not gentle. So it was like an 8 out of 10 experience, but the nails are on 10. I feel like such a bad bitch. I feel like who I truly am. Um, and yeah, I really think... I'm going to end the video here because I don't have anything else to show you. Um, I'm going to document me going to work on Tuesday, next Tuesday. So I'm 
gonna give you guys a haul in that video of the stuff that I'm gonna wear um, and then tomorrow is my birthday so I'm going to end the video here and start that vlog tomorrow just because I don't have anything else to do but make blah, 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 make dinner and clean my apartment for my party on Friday um, and so yeah I just want to thank you guys for tuning in to this video I hope you enjoyed I hope I didn't bore you and please give this video a thumbs up I really appreciate you for supporting me and I will see you in my next video